Christina from Be Like LA, and I'm taking a road trip to Palm Springs with my girls, Corey and Daniela. As much as I like LA, sometimes you need a quick getaway, and Palm Springs is a perfect destination for a little ladies' road trip. On our way, we stopped in Cabazon for a little photo fun with these giants. Next up, we arrive at our accommodations. Wait a minute, is this the same JW Marriott Palm Desert Resort featured in the 1991 episode of Saved by the Bell? You bet it is. Didn't see Zach or Slater around, but the view from our room was pretty killer. After we get settled at our home away from home, we decided our first key destination of the weekend, Desert X. The temporary art pop-up naturally brought out the Instagrammer in all of us. Made a quick change after Desert X. Super hungry right now, so we're gonna grab a bite at Reservoir. Bar. Danny went the healthy route with a salad, and Corey and I went to town on several goodies like Captain Crunch French Toast, tacos, and a burger. My favorite was the Build Your Own Bloody Mary Bar. After Reservoir, I was on a personal mission to hunt for as many bargains as I could find at local vintage stores and antique malls. And there are a lot of options for vintage and antique shopping in the Greater Palm Springs area. Day two started with a little spa treatment. Followed by pool time. Next up, it was on to dinner and drinks at Truss and Twine. Danny was all about the spot prawn dog and I couldn't get enough of the rabbit confit. My favorite was the South Side, a Prohibition era cocktail. Day three, we woke up and decided we were gonna get in touch with nature. Right now we're at the Palm Springs Visitor Center. We're about to head over to the aerial tramway, which is gonna take us 8,500 feet up into the San Jacinto Mountains. The Palm Springs aerial tramway is the world's largest rotating tram car, providing a 10 minute ride that takes you 8,500 feet up to the Visitor Center at Mount San Jacinto State Park. And trust me, the view is even better in person. After three full days, it was time to head back to LA, exhausted yet somehow invigorated by our desert adventures. As much as we did over the weekend, we barely scratched the surface of all the things to do in the Coachella Valley. But don't worry, we'll be back.